What is going on everyone? This is Eric coming at you from just outside of Hartford, Connecticut. And today we're going to be doing a completely different style of video. So if you remember back in early 2021, I posted a video where I discussed my sports clothing that I owned. And right after I did that, I had the idea to show you guys my sports cards that I have. But I have so many sports cards just because when I was a kid, I used to collect them all that good stuff that it wouldn't really be a realistic video idea. But what I do have is I have my personal collection of sports cards here from back when I really was into it. And I'm going to show you guys my favorite sports cards that I own. And you may notice that the very first thing I have on the screen here is not a sports card. It's a paper football. But let me explain. So back when I was in sixth grade and seventh grade, my friends and I would play paper football at lunch. We loved doing it. And it was just a fun thing. We were all sports fans. We all love football. Paper football was very fun. And a couple of us were really good at it, myself included. So we always used to bring paper. But then one day when we were in seventh grade, none of us had a piece of paper or a paper football. And someone brought out a dollar bill. We made a dollar bill into a paper football. And we had fun with it. We used it for a few weeks, actually maybe even a month. But what ended up happening is one of the teachers who was on lunch duty saw we were playing around with the dollar bill. So he came by and he took it. And he ended up giving it back to the kid that had it because he knew whose it was and all that good stuff. But he said, you can't do that. What happens if you lose a dollar bill? You can poke an eye out, all that stuff. So a couple days later, one of my friends comes in with a set of paper footballs. And they all had NFL logos on them. And of course, I was one of the very few Eagles fans in my school, so I was the only Eagles fan in my friend group. And after the year came to an end, he gave me this Philadelphia Eagles one. Very happy. I still have it to this day. Unfortunately, in eighth grade, we didn't play paper football anymore at lunch because we kind of got split up, but that's beyond the point. I, you know, I appreciate it, and that's why I've held on to this paper football. Next, though, I'm going to start with my baseball cards. So first we have Roman Quinn here. Roman Quinn was a guy who I was very high on. I love what he had. Great speed, great defense. Unfortunately, he could never stay healthy. I have a couple of his cards, but this is the best one. It's an on-card auto. If you're a sports fan, if you're a collecting fan, you know what that means. Doesn't have any numbering or anything like that, but still. Next, we have one of my absolute favorite players right now in the league, J.D. Hammer. Now, J.D. Hammer is currently, he left the Phillies, he was allowed to walk, and he's currently with the Colorado Rockies organization, but come on, he literally wears glasses. He wears glasses while pitching. You don't see that. This is a rookie card. It's not an on-card auto, but it's also not numbered. Ignore the numbering on the back, just who I bought it from. So yeah, pretty cool. Then you're going to see some Diamondbacks now. This is Paul Goldschmidt. This was one of the first sport cards I bought. I'm a fan of Goldschmidt. I've always loved Goldie. This is just a jersey piece, number 2196. So, pretty nice. Uh, the lighting's kind of weird just because some of these cards are refractors. Like, you can kind of see it changes colors. So, next, sticking with the Diamondbacks, we have AJ Pollock. Now, this is a game-used bat. I'm a big Pollock fan, of course. He's from the state of Connecticut, and he's a very good player. It's numbered to 299. But game use bats, you don't see those a lot. So that's why when I got this, I kind of said, all right, this is going to the private collection, personal collection. Next, you have an Oscar Tavares card. Now, it is numbered to 50. It's also refractor. Notably, this is an on-card auto. Now, you may be wondering why this is here. I got this a mere two days after Tavares had passed away. So the day I got it, I said, all right, this is going in the private collection. Next, I'm going to NASCAR, and it's my only NASCAR card, Anthony Alfredo. I'm a big fan of Fast Pasta. I'm probably going to end up getting a Logano card at some point soon. It'll go right to the private collection, but this is just Alfredo. It's a, it's a sticker auto, but it's still cool. You know, it's his rookie year. He's going to be in, he's in Xfinity in 2022, but still. Now we go to football, and this is where I have the majority of my stuff. First things first, Zach Ertz, numbered to 499. Now, the lighting, that's just a mark on the casing, but this is one of my favorite cards. It's Zach Ertz. I love Zach Ertz. You get the jersey. You have the autograph. Like I said, numbered to four ninety nine. Zach Ertz is one of the players that I grew up, you know. I grew up with the Eagles, and when they, they started with um, 
they started with a couple other players, started with like Lee Smith and all that. And then when they eventually went to Selleck and then they went to Ertz, it was just great. Now it's Goddard. I have another Zach Ertz card here. This one again, Jersey. Number 1214, so not a great number, but still pretty cool. Not the best card, but now I have one of my personal favorite players here in Brandon Graham, and I'm actually going to just group them together with another card here. So I have Brandon Graham and Fletcher Cox. These are both rookie autographs. They're both stickered autographs, so not the best, but could be worse. Uh, Fletcher Cox, of course, has gone on to be an amazing player, one of the best players in NFL. Well, in the Eagles' history is defense bend, our defensive tackle. Of course, that's saying something. He's not the best, but still, good card. Happy to get it. I got this when he was a rookie. Brandon Graham, I got this a couple years after his rookie year. I'm a big Brandon Graham fan. I have actually, I haven't like talked to him on the phone or anything, but I have like had a convert, couple conversations with him in social media. So pretty cool. And you know, this is his rookie year because he's wearing 54. He switched his jersey number to 55 for his sophomore year, and he has been there since. We have a few more cards left, only a couple. Next, we have Jordan Matthews. Now, this is numbered to 75. It's also a refractor. And it has two different swatches of jersey. I chose this one over my other one because the other Jordan Matthews card I have in my collection is... It has a bigger jersey swatch, but it's numbered lower or higher, I guess. And it just doesn't look as good, in my opinion. Jordan Matthews was a guy I was high on. Probably the one Chip Kelly pick I liked the most outside of the 2013 draft class. Unfortunately, he didn't really pan out, but still, pretty good player. Next... Probably the most controversial card I have in my collection, Carson Wentz jersey swatch. Now, this is from North Dakota State, which is always cool. Number to 199, gigantic swatch. This is a card that when I bought it, I was nervous that it was going to be damaged via shipping because, I mean, look at that. And it did suffer a couple dings, but still, Carson Wentz, great player. Unfortunately, his tenure in Philly did not go as I'd hoped. Now, I have two cards left. This was the absolute first card I got. And uh, basically, this was a gift from my sister when we were kids. So it's a dual jersey patch from Jeremy Macklin and LaShawn McCoy. This is a card that you could offer me $1,000 for it, and I wouldn't sell it to you just because of the sentimental value of it. Number to, thir number to 79. Just a great card. Like I said, you could literally have the other 78. You could offer me $5,000. I still wouldn't sell it. Now, the last card I have is my absolute favorite. I got this before he was an Eagle, Darren Sproles. Number to 49 jersey swatch from when he was a Saint. And you can see it has like the little cool design there from the numbers. I believe this is on a shoulder pad if I had to guess. But Darren Sproles is by far one of my absolute favorite players. So when I saw this card, I kind of went, I got to get it. You know, it's just, it's too cool not to have. So what I'm going to, so basically you can tell I'm an Eagles fan. I have a bunch of Eagles cards. And you can kind of tell, I don't have a lot of autographs in this. A lot of my autographs I ended up selling after a couple years just because the autographs tend to, well, they do sell for more money. But still, I'm pretty happy with my collection all said and done. It's not the best in the world, and I'm well aware of that. And this isn't all of my cards, of course. This is just the, my personal favorite cards that I own. But this is what we have. Again, you have a couple Zach Ertz, Jordan Matthews, the Macklin McCoy, my favorite, Darren Sproles, Carson Wentz, Brandon Graham, Fletcher Cox, rookie card autos, the Eagles, paper football, Roman Quinn, Oscar Tavares, another Zach Ertz, uh, Paul Goldschmidt, Anthony Alfredo Auto, AJ Pollock Bat, and JD Hammer Auto. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know this is a weird one for me to do. But I was looking back at the old channel and I saw that there were a few videos up of Patrick discussing his uh, former collections and all that. So I went, you know what? Let me let me pull one up. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a good rest of your day.